This video compares a variety of interface materials used in the see-through parts of fursuit and mascot costume eyes. We'll be examining three types of buckram, some stitch weave, and two types of stainless steel mesh. The first material seen here is the vinyl weave. Vision is consistent and even throughout the material. It provides a good balance between performer vision and appearance. The suit by Mischief Makers is an excellent example of how vinyl weave can look. Notice how only the iris and pupil are made out of the weave, while the whites of the eyes are constructed from foamies. When only the dark parts of the eyes are made out of the interface material, it creates a much more realistic look, but it does decrease the field of vision for the performer. The next material is fine weave buckram. Notice the inconsistencies in the fabric and how blurry things get when you're looking through it. Fine weave is used when the best outer appearance is required. Even at really close distances, the eyes look solid, but there's a trade-off between vision and appearance. This material ends up being at the extreme end of having a great appearance, and it also allows a performer to see through the eyes still. Pretty much the only thing better than this in terms of appearance would be a taxidermy eye, but you can't see those through those at all. Uh, in that case, the visions provide through the tear ducts in the corner of the eyes. The next material is loose weave buckram. The eyes are much easier to see out of because so much more light is being let in by the larger holes in the mesh. These next four examples are all made by dandelions out of white loose weave buckram. This is the most common material used today in fursuit eyes because it strikes a really nice balance between having a really decent uh, visual appearance, but also allows excellent performer visibility and some ventilation. The buckram is often painted with pigments such as Createx Wicked Colors, and they're applied either via an airbrush or a traditional bristle brush. Often the back of the eye ends up being painted black and that helps decrease glare. If the paint buildup gets too thick, sometimes a maker will go through with a needle and perforate the eyes to increase vision. The next material is black loose weave buckram, it's just like the white, but it's been pre-painted black. Notice how painting the side facing the performer decreases glare. When the light enters the material, some of it reflects off the performer's face and illuminates the interface material. When it does that, anything that gets reflected back causes glare and loss of visual clarity. Stainless steel perforated sheet is a very high performance material, it has a consistent pattern, can be bent into interesting shapes. It also provides excellent vision. The sheet can be ordered in a variety of patterns and you can optimize between vision and appearance. The exact materials used in this video as well as the sources will appear at the end of this video. Notice how the vision is really crisp in this shot. Here's a shot of Sullivan with his mesh eyes. In this suit you have full 3D vision, never get a headache from looking out of just one eye. If a more realistic look is desired, the whites of the eyes can be made out of foamies. The particular suit is designed for performer comfort and visibility, so there's a very wide field of vision and pretty good ventilation through the eyes. The last material is a fine stainless steel mesh. The holes are smaller, but there are quite a bit more of them, so both the appearance and the vision are improved. The downsides of stainless are it's pretty expensive. It can be around $50 a sheet, and it's difficult to process because it requires metalworking skill and tools. It can also be hard to paint. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the different materials shown in this video. Seeing out of any mascot costume is really difficult, but choices can be made to optimize between appearance, visibility, and cost. Here's where you can get the different materials. You can also find buckram at your local fabric store. Thanks for watching and thanks especially to all those people that allowed their work and characters to be used in the creation of this video.